Hello everybody, it's me Roscoe and welcome to the first game day of 2024. I missed a Stoke New Year's Day goalless draw, but we're here at Plough Lane as town take on AS Wimbledon in the FA Cup third round. The magic of the cup and all that. A bit of an early kickoff, just arrived. Um, a bit of an overcast day. Um, and sadly, I just got into the press room and there's no press food. So um, but there's a Greg's around the corner, so I'll probably get a Greg's later on. But yeah, let's get right into it. Team news will be dropping shortly. Be interested to see what the team will look like. Sam Moores is surely going to start because obviously he's suspended for the next two games. So let's see what's the team. Okay, then team news has just dropped and the team is stronger than expected. I think a lot of us knew there's going to be changes. There's six changes in total from the goalless draw at Stoke on New Year's Day. And this is the team. Uh, Christian Wold is in goal. I think we're pretty much expecting that. Axel Twanzabi at right back. I think we thought we'd maybe get rested for this, but he's starting. Luke Wolford and George Emerson as centre halves. Cameron Humphreys at left back. Sam Moores, he does start with Jack Taylor in the midfield. Mike Hutchinson, Marcus Harness, Nathan Broadhead, and Freddie Ladapo up top. A stronger team, I think, than most of us are expecting. And uh, new signing, Jeremy Sarmento, is on the bench. That is the team. Let's see how town get on, and can they progress? Let's get right to it. Waitress Town have progressed to the FA Cup fourth round after beating Aston to Wimbledon 3-1. It was a bit flat, I have to admit. <laughs> a bit. But um, we saw some goals. Uh, we saw some football being played. A Davidson of good old Jezza. Um, thought he looked lively. I'm here with Peachy, my Hello. friend. Um, mm. Overall thoughts on that win? A win's a win. I'm happy with that. But we're off to Wembley, aren't we? That's the first <laughs> step to Wembley. It was... Um, it was... I don't know. It was, it was a strange game. Obviously, it was Championship versus League 2. So yeah, it's always going to be of that. Of course. Yeah. But like, the first goal, that was like pinball and... We didn't, I didn't realize it gone into like I saw the players running back celebrating and like I say to get, it took us ages to get that bloody third goal didn't it but to be fair they're keeping made a good save from Humphreys I think Wolfram's goal was offside but I'd like to see the penalty back that Wimbledon got I mean I, I don't saw so the ball come in it hit a hand I don't know whose and then like the ref sort of blew and gave the penalty I was like okay fair enough but it was just random but I must admit our first trip to Plough Lane and I also, I've got a lot of time for Wimbledon with their story I won't go into their story yeah. I've got a lot of respect for them, what they've done back in the league but yeah Great club, great ground, and luckily we're going to the fourth round. Yes, indeed, my friend. Um, yeah, let's talk about some players then. Because Sean Aluko needs to do yeah. a tie shoelace up when he gets on the pitch. <laughs> yeah, I saw that straight away. I actually took a picture of him doing that. Or just buy him, just buy him some Velcro. So much yeah. like Velcro yeah, down. Yeah, yeah. Every minute I looked at him, he was like, shoelace, I'll go do him for him. <laughs> um, but then the team was actually more stronger then first four, I think you know I think a lot yeah. of us thought there'd be a lot of changes there were six changes in total well Morse was yeah. always going to play wasn't yeah, he because he was he's obviously suspended for the next two games like, I'm not going to pronounce his last name Jezza came on Jeremy Saramin no, I've butchered it yeah. straight away I'm going to move go. on yeah he he's he done alright he's, he's, he's got a bit of flair doesn't he like, yeah. Harness had another good game Amari he's a bit hot and cold today but like his defensive work was brilliant yeah. again and yeah, I think Ladapo he had a few chances but he just strugg he's just struggling I mean, I he feel, struggled today boy I Ooh. feel I think fans are getting on his, in my opinion, fans are getting his back a bit too much. He tries, he's trying his hardest, but he's not hurst. So just give him a break. Think what he did last year for us. But I think to be, I'm giving him the big in here, but I know probably in the end of January, we may have one or two strikers in and he could even be gone, bless him. But anyway, on to the fourth round. Who, yes. do, we, who do we want? We don't actually know yet because it's Saturday, so other teams could come out and stuff. Fulham away. I oh, know they Fulham went through. Away. Fulham away. <laughs> okay. Right, like Fulham, we had them in the other well, cup, didn't we? Yeah, let's not. That's right. No. Uh, anyway, cheers, man. Cheers, mate. And it's now decided to spit a little bit, so hopefully we'll be fine, Bloomers, my friend. Um, <laughs> this is a short journey for you. You're a yes. South London town fan. Yes. Um, thoughts on that one? Yeah, it was um, a bit attritional at times, but it, we got the job done and on to the next round. Some players got some much needed minutes and no one disgraced themselves out there. No one got injured, as far as I could see, so I'd, I'd call that a success. Um, you can see, obviously, the starter play. And there's such a, a way of going about what we do, getting the ball out wide. Tuan Zabi's featured a lot from playing in that position um, and trying to get a ball in from wide. Sometimes I just feel like it's almost too choreographed. I mean, obviously it works, works really well because we've scored God knows how many uh, goals in the last 18 months. But I don't know, it's, it's a bit slow at times. Again, it's a cup game, it's early kickoff, it's against lower league opposition. Is the intensity going to be there at max? Probably not. I know McKenna would want it to be, but the facts are it's, it's rare that a team does you know, play to the maximum intensity in a game like that. But you know, we, we did really well, got, got the job done. And um, I think that uh, Morsey was really good again, as, you, as you'd expect. Uh, Freddie struggled a little bit. It's a bit sad to see, really. It'll be interesting to see whether 
whether he moves on if we get another striker in, which obviously we hope to. Sarmiento, I think that's how you pronounce it. I, yeah, I, saw, I, was, fil I was filming Peachy, so uh, I was watching you guys struggle with that. I think that's how you it's pronounce it. It's not even that it. difficult to say, but I don't know. On, nah, the, on the spot, you'll get it. Jeremy get it. Sarmiento. Nah, work needs work, needs work. <laughs> but yeah, you can see he brings a bit of flair to his game. He, he's quite direct, which I like. Again, I feel like we, we need that at times. And uh, yeah, like some of the fringe players did quite well. Fridge, yeah, and yeah. Fringe the fridge player. Fridge the fringe player did really, really well. Um, he's just a man mountain, isn't he? Uh, he ate up those those League Two. I thought uh, Jack Taylor did well as well. Of course, got his goal as well. Yeah, and, and it's good to see him get some minutes because Luongo is not going to the Africa. Uh, the Australian, no, is, no Asian, is Cup, Asian, Asian Cup, Asian Cup, I was the one who said FCON for yeah. Burgess, but no, Asian Cup yeah. is retired. So, so, yeah. so if he's going to be fighting with Longo for his place, I think he did his chances no harm today. And it'll be interesting to see who we get in the next round. We don't know as of now anyone apart from the teams last night and I guess Newcastle, because I'm pretty sure they're beating Sunderland. Don't know. If, if something go on to win, like, you'll three, know. Yeah, if something go on to win 3-2, then I've made a colossal cock up. But um, yeah, we don't know who we're going to get next round. Personally, selfishly, another London team away would be great or a, a top six Prem team at home. I yeah, think I that, that's, that's what we want to see right now. Or the worst team in the, in the round to try and get through to the fifth. But yeah, professional performance, got the job done. Let's go and warm up with a, with a nice brew. Cool, man. I'm joined by Darren, my friend's thoughts on that one through to next round of the FA Cup. But yeah, professional performance. Yeah, it's, it's job done, isn't it, really? Um, I think, you know, the main thing going into a game like today, you just want everybody to stay fit. Um, get a good array of minutes in everybody um, and not end up with a replay which uh, <laughs> at times today I was a bit worried that we weren't going to kill that off but uh, we should have had it done a lot sooner but um, in the end yeah you've you got to be you got to be pretty happy with that um, some people who've uh, you know they needed they needed the game today I think to, to get their confidence back and a bit of a shame there's a few guys I was really hoping might get on the score sheet today just to you know really would like to see I'm desperate to see Brody get, get, yeah. get in the goals again. You know, the last few games, he's been in some fantastic positions. It just feels like hasn't quite fallen for him or he's not quite found He was the very shot. frustrated in the first half because, of course, the, the, the first goal was an own goal, but he, he was part of that. Yeah. But then he missed an absolute golden chance. He actually kicked the hoarding because I think he was that <laughs> angry. He's like, why have I missed that? But yeah. Yeah, yeah. But it'd be nice to see him get back on the score sheet again soon. But, um, but yeah, and, uh, you know, a few of the guys in there who are due a goal, really. But um, correct me if I'm wrong, two, t technically two goals from set pieces. I think today, yeah. which I can't remember the last time that we did that, um, you know, we used, used to be very potent from set pieces, didn't we? So it's good to see, you know, at least we've made the most of those opportunities today. And uh, yeah, no, I think there were, there were some good performances, you know, across the park. Um, I thought Tunzabi really yes. grew into the game. Wasn't too sure at the beginning on the far right there, but, you know, he, he did really settle into it brilliantly, especially second half and got his goal, of course. Um, you know, Fridge, he's been, you know, I'm not, I'm not going to say he's doing a clad key, but, you know, with, the, with Burgess out, he's really, he's, yeah. really, uh, he's really stepped up at the moment. So, yeah, it's been great to see that. Uh, and Walton as well, you know, when you, you've got to say, yeah, he was called upon today. And when we think about, you know, the last time that he had to get drafted into the side, you know, probably wasn't his best game. But today he's, 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 he's stood up when it, kept, it mattered. So. You can't miss him, by the way, <laughs> if he's pink away kit, uh, away, uh, goalkeeping kit. You can't miss him, but yeah. yeah which uh, someone got their hands on, which was good. Yeah, so. it was great. Yeah, big yeah. shout out to Christian Walton for doing that. I think it was a young kid who's got basically the pink um, goalkeeping shirt on the kid and, you know, I have to grow up a little bit before he can fit in it. But yeah, it's great to see. <laughs> yeah, yeah, so good stuff. So really, yeah, um, you know, it's good to see us through uh, through in any cup game because you know, not forgetting it's not been that long since we couldn't win an FA Cup game for love and money. Yeah. Um, so uh, yeah, well, uh, interesting to see you we get next round. Personally, for me, I'm a bit of a ground hopper, so I've not been here before. It's my first time here. Interesting ground, say the least. Yeah. Um, but uh, yeah, so I'd uh, I'd love uh, well another away day somewhere that we've not played for a while. But uh, other than that, maybe a little safe draw at home would be nice. Definitely. And to wrap game day up. We're joined by James. It's been a while, my friend. It's great to see you. Um, thoughts on that? We're through to the next round of the FA Cup. Um, just job done? Yeah, I think it was really good. We played good. One point I thought Tuesday was going to get red card. Yeah. Because that was a little bit scary, but but then red card came out of nowhere. I was just I was just looking like what's happening. He's got sent off, and I was like, okay, I'll, I'll take it. Yeah. I'll take it. Um... The team played good. I, I, what's his, the, the new player's name, what's his name? He's asking me, and I, I can't pronounce that. It's Jeremy, uh, no, Jeremy Saraminto. Saraminto. Yeah, just, Saraminto. just call him Jezza. Just call him Jezza. Jezza. <laughs> Jezza. He played, when he came on, he played really good. He yeah. nearly scored just he did. into the keeper. But we have to talk about Ipswich Town. 
Oh, we gotta go to the Prem. Ooh. Big question. Oh, James, you're putting us a big question. That is the million dollar question. Um, how are you feeling about it? You know, we've had a, a tough sort of festive period. Not, you know, we haven't won in five games in, in the league, um, but we're still looking in good shape. Yeah, I think we could be. Oh, my knees. <laughs> we could be. We could maybe get to Wembley in the FA Cup, but I'm thinking maybe playoffs, maybe for the championship. We're, we're a very, very good team, strong team, but maybe. Leeds, Leicester, well Leicester will win the league, no doubt about, about that, but Leeds, Southampton are going to be... They're going to slip up, they're going to uh, slip up. They might. Le Leeds probably have a spell where they slip up a little bit, because I know they probably will, but <laughs> yeah. Who would you like in the FA Cup fourth round then? You know, there's, oh, we don't round. yet know, there's you know, still a lot of games to be played Sunday yeah. or today, um, Monday as well, but is there any places you want to go or would you rather have a home game? I don't know any of the teams that are still in it, but I would rather have a home game than treble again, because we've already had, we had, we had, we really had AFC Wimbledon, and we beat them three-one just then. So I think maybe a home tie, maybe a away tie. It's hard, half to half, fifty-fifty. He wants oh Spurs behind the camera because yeah that's a that's a new ground to take off for a lot of people because of yeah. course there's a new ground but that'd be good fun James. Yeah. Um, well it's been a pleasure. Yeah. Let's wrap up. Um, I've heard you're going to have your first game of 2024 tomorrow. Yeah. So um, let, let everyone know what's going on. So I play for Springfield on on the nines. So we have we put on a spot now. Put on a spot. We have who we got? We got we got Buckhurst Hill Ooh, on, on on really fun Astro. Okay. Because because I've been on that Astro before. I don't know why I went so far. I've been on that Astro before, and that Astro just like beats your feet in. Because I know that pit are uh, them pitches where we normally play are gonna be absolutely muddy because it, it's rained. Yeah. And then pi our pitches are not really nice when you have studs and stuff. And that makes us stop a little bit slower. What Astro. position do you play? Um, we mix it around, yeah, okay. I like playing like wingers. Oh, you, you I quit. I've seen him uh, behind the camera when we're doing the other interviews. James is just everywhere. I was like, can't keep up with him, but that was great. That's yeah. great. I, I, I prefer like Burns cutting inside, yeah. boom, boom, boom. Even though I've got Daisy Tom today. Yeah, Sally's injured at the moment, isn't he? But um, yeah. hopefully be back for some of the league games. I didn't understand why he got injured. I don't... What? I think it's his groin, I think. I think it's yeah. groin. So a lot of games over the festive period. That's sort of caught up with some players. Yeah. Um, well, James, hope you enjoy the rest of your day. Thanks for joining me. Thanks everyone for watching Game Day. And we'll see you next time. Of course, we've got two big yeah. games coming up. Sunderland and Leicester. Yeah. See you then. then.